Hi everyone, good morning. So we are at Big Banyan Vineyards, uh, which is located uh, at a place called Tavarakkare, which is uh, uh, 60 kilometers from Whitefield. So let me show you this place. Uh, so this is the restaurant uh, which is called Ranch. Uh, we'll be going to vineyards. We have a reservation here. Uh, so let me, Kavya, do you want to say a few things about uh, Big Banyan? So hey guys, this is Kavya here. So we have finally reached the Big Banyan Vineyard after two long hours of drive. So if you guys are in Bangalore, if you are residents of Bangalore, uh, you guys can actually come over here for the weekends because it is actually peaceful. And uh, you know, you can you know get out of the Bangalore chaos and hustle for like at least two days. And they even have uh, resorts here. So uh, they have luxurious cottages and also you can uh, have a good stay here. But do you know why this place is called Big Banyan Vineyards? It's because they actually have a massive Big Banyan tree which is around 400 years old and it spans around three acres of land and uh, it's actually quite uh, near from here but you have to go I, th I think four uh, minutes from here. But you know what the main feature of this place is? It's nothing but wine. So if you are a wine lover uh, you can you know taste see and even explore how wine is made and processed so let's go ahead yeah yeah uh, so guys we have just started from here uh, we are on our way to reception uh, let's check if the wine tasting session is already started or not yeah so hope you can see oh you can see this uh, place is well maintained uh, yeah, and by the way, we are 10 minutes late. Our reservation was at 11 a.m. Uh, we don't know if it's already started or not. Uh, so hold on, guys. Let's go and see. How the sun smiled it. How the rain kissed it. How the first flowers blossomed. It will tell you of a time when it saw the light of day first. And the hundred odd sunsets and sunrises that came after. The day the pluckers came, it knew the time was right. The plump, full clusters were ready for harvest. It was gently brought into the vintner's care. They crushed and coaxed and brought out the sweet nectar. And thereafter, it was sheer alchemy that turned it into this wonderful wine, so full of character. Big Banyan wines have quite the deal to tell. If only you'd care to pay attention. Yeah. Uh, so guys, uh, by the time we reached there, uh, people checked in for the highlights of wine history. Uh, it was almost started, uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so we are on our way to Vineyard. Uh, so you can see this is the place here. Uh, so basically there is some outdoor area where you can uh, have fun with your friends and family. So when you stay here, uh, you can just enjoy all this. So yes, uh, we are heading to the vineyards, uh, almost reached. We will have a session here uh, with the wine specialist. But you all notice something different when you look at these plants. Where are the grapes? <laughs> they have been harvested. Yeah, All the grapes have been harvested. It was until... Um, Two days back, we still had the red grapes. The white grapes had been harvested on March 11th. The red grapes have been harvested yesterday morning. Yeah. So all of the grapes in the vineyards have been harvested. Uh, only after another nine months will we will we be seeing small berries of these grapes. After which again Jan Feb is when you will see nice good plum grapes that have been ripened. The average yield of this vineyard is about 10 to 15 tons but we are present all over South India and Maharashtra. So do you think the, the, you know, the yield that we get here is enough for the demand that we have? No. Not at all. I feel like Bangalore requires a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> and, that is why, and that is why most of our grapes are 
export or sourced through contract farming. So guys, we are the vineyards. Uh, we are done with uh, wine processing uh, session and all that. Uh, so camera wasn't allowed there. So yeah, uh, so Kavya would be briefing about it. Uh, yeah, please take this mic. Yeah. Okay, so uh, actually our uh, tour on the production side is done. So actually they did not allow cameras. So we were not able to take the video and footage of whatever they were explaining and showing. So I'll give you a brief uh, summary on what they had explained to us. So uh, the thing is actually uh, they have uh, explained like five steps on how the wine is made. So the first is sorting, sorting the grapes. Then uh, it's crushing. After sorting out the good, uh, like the fine quality grapes, they crush the grapes and then uh, they do the fermentation. After fermentation, they keep it for aging. So uh, they keep it for aging for um, uh, for around uh, four years. So Guys, after go. that, what they do is uh, they uh, give it to the bottling side of it. So they bottle it and then they give uh, labels. So this is uh, the summary or the brief explanation of what they have explained to us. So these five steps. So they have taken us here to a room uh, where, they, where they said that uh, they're going to let us taste the wine. So we have no idea like what variety of wine they're going to give us, but I hope it's going to be really good. And you can see how wonderfully they have arranged the room. It's so classy. <laughs> it is made from a grape. Anything else from grapes and alcohol can you spend anything in it? So guys, uh, we just had our wine test tasting session. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, so we have butterflies on our stomach and uh, really hungry. So just want to grab something. So this is, uh, so if you see on my left, uh, you can see a live grill counter. Yeah. So this is the cafeteria ranch. So hopefully we'll have a good lunch here. Not sure how it's gonna be. So we'll get back to you guys on this. Yeah, catch you. So guys, uh, after our wine tasting, uh, we had our lunch. Uh, we had a special buffet here, uh, which was made on reservation. Uh, so we'll be making a move right now. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe.